One more message to the patriarchy trolls who are sure to harass me in the comments today. <laughs> To take our minds off the US election shambles, today we'll be diving deep into the world of male feminists. Should men embrace modern day feminism? Is feminism the way forward in today's society? Is it punk to be a male feminist? We'll be looking at a selection of delightful videos to tickle your feminist taste buds. At the end of the video, we'll also be looking at a new term you should be learning, and it's an important one if, like many others, you are repulsed by sex. Ugh! Remember to give this video a like, comment, and activate channel notifications. It helps me immensely and ensures that these delightful yet educational videos in wokeness reach a wider audience of bigots. Snuggles! Gender is a universe. All white people benefit from racism. The health problems I have are more age related than weight related. You are a white privileged male. That's just a not so you, you have to give me a chance to respond we'll let you to that. Hate and we me. don't really <laughs>where are you going? Oh, I have my volunteer shift at Planned Parenthood. Wait, isn't that the abortion place? They do legal abortions, but they also do pap smears, cancer screenings, and they offer really great health care to people who can't afford it. Here, have a shirt. Oh. oh it's going to be okay, Sam. I'm here for you. <laughs> my guy friends never let me cry. Masculinity is a prison. Look it out. <laughs> Oh, whoa, uh, Dallas, I, I think you forgot to shave. No, I just don't sometimes. Oh, check it out, twins, <laughs> hey! Ugh, I'm bleeding everywhere. <gasps> oh, no, not on the couch, oh. get up, oh! We have to normalize periods, Sam. There's nothing to be ashamed about, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thanks. How about I pay 79 cents for your dollar? You know, to even out the pay gap. What? Hold on, that is not fair. <laughs> exactly. All the women who independent, throw your hands up in me. Can you be quiet? You can't quiet this woman. Oh, dang, Dallas, you look hot. Who are you trying to impress? Is there a new man in your life? Sam, I don't dress like this for any man. I'm dressing like this for me, myself, and I. Okay? So, what do you think? Wow, I love it. I, I didn't know guys could do this. Of course, you have nails, don't you? Hey, look, it matches my jersey. Oh, I don't know. I just don't really see myself as a feminist. Well, do you believe that men and women are equal? Well, yeah, of course. Well, then you are. Oh, well, go feminism. Yeah. According to writer Alice Coffin, men should have no place in women's minds. I mean, look at her face. To emancipate a woman is to refuse to confine her to the relations she has to men, not to deny them to her. So wrote Simone de Beauvoir, the godmother of French feminism in The Second Sex over 70 years ago. Not all French feminists today would agree. A new book, Lesbian Genius, suggests that women should banish men from their lives. Its author, Alice Coffin, a lesbian activist and Paris city councillor, says she no longer reads books by men, nor watches films made by men, nor listens to music written by men. No more Voltaire, Truffaut, or Daft Punk then. We need, she declares, to eliminate men from our minds. Whew. However, as Newsweek writes, is Borat 2 a feminist movie? Some fans are shocked that their answer is yes. Borat 2 might be the most clever feminist movie in recent memory, one user wrote. I love that people who are watching it are clearly enjoying it. And then going, wait, is this... Is this feminist? I reckon I'm gonna get absolutely roasted for saying this, but was Borat 2 a surprisingly good feminist movie? Or am I losing it? Another person tweeted. No spoilers, but the new Borat movie might have been the sweetest little vulgar feminist movie I've seen in a bit, and a delightful piece of satire, a third chimed in. I think my biggest goal in life is to be a mom. Uh-oh, <laughs> not the toughest one over here. <laughs> what? Kaylin, that's awesome. Feminism is about supporting women no matter what their choice is. And I love kids. Oh, we're so cute! It, Kaylin Lee. I love it. We could be Mr. and Mrs. Lee. Or you could keep your last name. Or how about hyphenating? Okay, I never thought about that. It could be Sam Malley. What do you think? <gasps> oh, I love it. What do you think of mine? Oh, you are gonna be a hit at the protest. Yes! <laughs> oh! Whoa, who's that woman you're putting on your wall? Toni Morrison. She's a black female playwright and a feminist icon. Wow! Guess she does it all. All right, I am ready. 
Whoa, I love your pins. They're so cool. Fashionable with a message. Spread the word. <laughs> yes, ma'am. The future is female. Hi there, I'm Sipat from Bangladesh. This video is all about how young men can be feminists alongside women in achieving gender equality. If you stand for equality, then I'm afraid you are already a feminist. Anyone in the world who has a concern over women rights is a feminist. There is nothing shy to be a feminist and also respect others who are working on women rights. Work with innovation because innovation will lead you to a bigger audience. Don't work alone. Find like-minded people because working in a group will increase your efficiency. It is really necessary to work in a group in a sensitive issue like gender equality. Be brave, be proud, because sharing with girls will not reduce your rights, rather it will it really expand the rights of others. As a man, you are privileged in a patriarchal society. Just ask yourself, what have you done to earn this privilege? Thanks for watching. I hope this is useful and this helps you out to start fighting against gender inequality in your community. Male Feminist Europe tells us that all men should support feminism and they show us how. Machismo is the main root of domestic violence and is still one of the most regretful statistics we have to show for. Machismo is also what fosters the recommendation of certain toys for girls, what determines why women earn less than men for doing the exact same job, and what prevents women from getting certain jobs and what feeds the analysis of women on solely sexual and sensual grounds. And if the numbers do not lie, nor do my hips, neither does perception. When the world's most powerful president stands for the objectification of women and manages to win the elections, there's motive to worry about the public debate status. When the comment section on most newspapers or Facebook discussions about Emma Watson became crammed with savage comments, we realise how far we are from living in a civilised society. <sighs> this is why we should be redundant in a newspaper and say the obvious, I'm a feminist. Punk revolution now! Today we're going to be talking about feminism. Because... I've read a lot of Reddit threads and Facebook comments and everything. I just read a lot about feminism online and I just feel like I know feminism really well. And you know if you've watched my YouTube channel enough, I am one of the few men with the courage to admit they're a feminist. Even though we're out there, there are men feminists out there. And every time I say it online, I do get harassed, I get bullied. Of course, I'm used to trolls coming after me. Of course, they want to ha ha ha, man feminist, whatever. That's part of being punk, is to come out and say what you want. And if people try to fight you, well, let, let them come at you and see what happens. So, you know, just like, one of my favorite things to do online, like top five, is probably go through Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, social media, and just kind of read about women's experiences. If I find a woman's Reddit account, I'll just read all her comments, upvote it to help, you know, if you upvote it, that means more people are gonna see it, so I'd like to raise her voice. Guild it, which is when you pay money to put gold on it. It's a long Reddit story thing. But, I don't know, it's like... I have a good time being a male feminist. Quartz at Work magazine writes, Being a male feminist, like being a white ally, isn't about making yourself feel better. Barker is a co-founder of MenCare, a global campaign intended to help men become equitable caregivers, and a co-chair of Men Engage, an alliance of global NGOs and UN agencies committed to gender equality. In conversation with Quartz, Barker explains why there's no short-term business plan to gender equality, why he doesn't identify as a feminist per se, and why gender equality demands that we engage and listen to angry white men. I define myself as a feminist ally. It's important that men acknowledge that we haven't lived the reality of women, and that women led and continue to lead the brave steps to create the feminist movement. Keeping the word ally in there helps us remember, as men, not to try to take over the march. It reminds us to say to ourselves, I'm in the march with you, but I'm not in charge of it. We need to be extremely mindful that this discomfort pales in comparison to the harassment and bias women have faced and the racism that people of colour have faced. I have to believe that men, and white men, can get that. 
I think we can learn when to listen and when to speak out. It's not bad for men, and white men in particular, to have to stop and ask for directions now and then. And I feel like more men need to be more feminist. Or at least be openly feminist. So, I hope this video will inspire more men to say I am feminist because it's awesome. And maybe we can start a new branch of feminism called punk feminism and I will be the leader. And maybe that'll be the new future of feminism. Are you looking in the face of the new leader of feminism? I like to believe so. So, thank you for watching. Let's go ahead and destroy patriarchy. And before I go, one more message to the patriarchy trolls who are sure to harass me in the comments today. Terms you should be learning. Ah, uh, sexual? Arcsexual is a general term for a person who feels averse, repulsed, or conflicted, ARC, or ARC, towards sex. Arcsexual is similar to apothesexual, however one can identify as arcsexual without being asexual. Many people who experience sex repulsion are asexual, however there are some allosexual people who are sex repulsed. You can click on the link up the top there to check out my previous video where we discuss allosexual people. Arc is also an umbrella term that encompasses several identities to more specifically describe one's attitude towards sex. The suffix carnal is used in these terms to describe arc feelings. Terms using terminology include arc flux. One's arc feelings fluctuate. A carnal, sex indifferent. Anti carnal, sex repulsed. Pro carnal, sex favorable. Discarnal, sex averse. Or Eris carnal, sex conflicted or sex ambivalent. Well, if you enjoyed this video, then why not watch my previous video here? Or you can click here to access the complete playlist that will tickle your senses and arouse you for hours.